Hi guys, today is about ferrules. What are the ferrules? I'm picking up a big one, like this one. A metallical cylinder, as you can see, and a plastic jacket. They are intended for attaching on the wires and making a very good electrical and mechanical connection. Let's see some examples. Here at the end of these very tiny wires, these bluish things are ferrules. So what happens is, anytime you use stranded wire, what may happen is whiskers. You don't want to plug these wires into contacts inside and to have some whiskers remaining and touching some other wires and establishing unwanted contacts. So you want everything to stay in one place. And as you can see, there is no, there is no way any of the metallical cylinders to be seen. You only see the plastic insulation for the very tiny wires. And also the same thing is for thicker wiring on the other side. Please notice that there is no necessarily a correspondence between the color of the plastic jacket and the color of the plastic insulation of the wire. Because, as you can see here in the boxes, this is the American system, by the way, uh, organized in uh, the uh, American wire gauges, AWG. So here, these very little ones, the gauge is 24, is a kind of bluish color, 22, they are recognized as a kind of greenish color, 20 orange, 18 a white, and these are also 18, but the plastic jacket is a bit larger for special wires, okay? So again, the color of the fair rules is to recognize their thickness and not to attach them to the same color of the wire because the wires can have very different colors, but imagine for the gauge, let's say 18, you may have all the colors you want, and you're gonna still use the same kind of ferrule like this one. And the example is right here, where I use the gauge wire 20, as you can see, because all the plastic jackets are exactly like these ones here in the box, gauge 20. Let's go to see how to use it. You are going to need three kinds of tools. First, you need a kind of wire stripper to remove the plastic insulation of the wire before attaching the ferrule. Secondly, you are going to need a kind of cutter. I prefer to use this one because it's very sharp. And third, you are going to need the crimping tool this is my favorite, is a ratchet, ratcheting tool. And we're going to see how to use it. The other two uh, strippers. This one may be relatively good for thin wire, but for the thicker ones is not recommended. Even if it comes together with the cutter. So right here, you can cut the wire, okay? Similarly, this one. You can, you can cut the wire right here. And here is the stripper. The stripper, by the way, it can be adjusted here, if you can see. There is a little place you can, introduce, you can insert a uh, screwdriver. Now it's adjusted, for, it's adjusted for quarter of an inch, but it can be any other thickness you want, you see? Just a quick move and the wire is stripped out, okay? But again, I'm going to use this one. So let's leave it with the place. Now, even if you strip it on a longer distance, it simply won't matter. You just twist it a bit, and then it's just a coincidence that my uh, ferrule has a white jacket and the wire is white. It's just a coincidence. You're going to just place it like that. You pick up the tool, the crimper, 
and then you squeeze it, and the job is done. Last thing you do with the cutter, you cut it at the length you need, and the job is done. Showing you another interesting one, which is a standard power cable on the North American continent. As you may uh, uh, remember, the larger prong here represents the neutral, and the other one is the hot wire or the line. Sometimes the power supplies you attach the cable to, they require a kind of polarity to be respected. So you have to identify which is which. You can either use the uh, multimeter, so you're going to find what wire goes where, or, because I know it, is that this wire where you see the uh, inscripted information, this one represents the line. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm stripping it out like this. I twist it just a bit to prevent whiskers. And this is where I pick the larger plastic jacket for the gauge AT because the insulation here is very thick for the power cable. And then I'm just using the crimper. I squeeze it, job is done. I cut it a bit shorter. I'm going to do the same for this one. Like this, I twist a bit. I pick up the ferrule. I place it on the cable, I push it, and then with the crimper, and last thing I do, the cutter, and now I pick up my power supply, which is over here, and if you notice, the line wire and the neutral, they are pretty close to each other, this is why I want to prevent the wires to touch each other, so I pick up the line, I place it here. As you can see, there is no way the metallical part is gonna stay out. So then with a little screwdriver, and then the other one, which is the neutral, I'm going to do the same. So I attach it on the power supply. Now they stay perfectly, okay? So this is the use of the ferrules. Swagger down the street with your red lips and funky beat. You better hold your head up to the sky. I'm gonna roll with you till the day I die. So I have here the ferrules for different gauges, each of them has a different color. Again, there is, not, there is no relationship between the color of the ferrules and the color of the wire. It's only about the thickness going for each. So this is it. By the way, you can find at any distributor, especially on Amazon, a complete kit ferrule crimping tool plus a complete set of ferrules for a very reasonable price so very easy to buy and use it thank you very much see you next time